y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be playing with the new Crystal Skies collection from Inslee Rain and Shifty Shadow. This is a super fun, super colorful collaboration. I'm going to do swatches. We're going to do two looks with this collection. Let's jump into it. <music> Rain did send me this collection. This is a collaboration with Shifty Shadows over on Instagram. I will link that Instagram account down below. Definitely check them out. They are so insanely talented, but I want to play with this collection. I want to have some fun. Let me show you. Let, let me show you. This packaging, first of all, so, so beautiful. So we talked about this collection in a judging new makeup and y'all let me know, y'all were really interested in this. Look at those shades, look at those shades. So we have a very bright palette. We have pastels, we have mid-tones, we have some really, really sparkly shadows. These are magnetic pans, so you can kind of rearrange your palette if you want to, or pop in other single shadows, move these around, whatever you wanna do. I think that's so cool. This collection is available now. I will link it down below. And Inslee Rain did give me an affiliate code. My code is Heather and it will not work on this collection I don't believe but just if you want to use it on anything else you definitely don't have to just letting you know okay so the top row of this palette these shadows are hand pressed I thought that was really cool so I did want to point that out and now I'm gonna pop up a close-up and swatches for you so that you can see this is five hand pressed shades two of those are holochromes two multi-chromes one duo chrome so that is the crystal skies palette i love this packaging i think this packaging is so so cool but then we have some other things to talk about as well because there are three of these molten liquid shadows so we have really pretty liquid shadows and then we also have loose pigments I think these are so fun. We're going to use all of these products on the face today, but I want to show you swatches. So the liquid shadows are multi-chromes and then five of the moon dust are multi-chromes and two are duo chromes. There is also a like this is called the Glitz Fix Prime and Shine. I had actually bought this from Inslee Rain before they launched it with one of their collections. I've been using it and it's really nice, like a glitter primer adhesive, something like that to use with the pigments or your sparkly shadows to make them more intense. Really, really nice. And then something that I'm already wearing underneath the lip liner is the Rain or Shine Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Crystal Skies. So this is a very sparkly lip gloss. You can see I just have it over a lip liner today. But I want to show you, I filmed a look yesterday. You're going to see that look first, and then we will do a look today. And I'll kind of tell you my thoughts on this collection, but it's bright, it's colorful. We are going to have a good time. Let's jump in to look number one. Okay, y'all, we are going to play with this palette today. I'm excited about it. I want to put down an eyeshadow primer, and then I think I'm going to start with this mid-tone purple right here called Amethyst. Okay, so I put down a eyeshadow base that is kind of light. It's not white, but it's definitely lighter than my skin tone. I want to really let these vibrant shades pop. I am super excited. This right here is actually my first time playing with this palette. So I'm just going to tap out any creases that may be in my primer. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this shadow on my blinged brush and that is a pretty purple color oh I like that colorful eyeshadow is a great way just to <laughs> just to cheer myself up put a smile on my face oh that's such a pretty purple color all right I'm just gonna buff this around the socket 
get a good blend and then we're gonna go in with some of these other shades okay I am going to put this deeper darker purple called muse on the lower lash line I want to get this purple put down and then I'm not sure what I want to do after that I'm gonna have to brainstorm because I, I want to like these colors are so vibrant like I kind of just want to put them all on Okay, I'm just using this blinged brush to put this shadow down. These two mattes that I have used are pigmented and also easy to blend. Like, really, I'm having no issue. We are going to layer mattes here in just a minute because I really want to see how these layer. And I think it would be kind of fun to pull in some pink shades. So looking at this palette, I think we will use these two pinks right here. We will use, um, yeah, I think this, this hot pink, uh, good energy, and then neophile right here, the kind of mid-tone pink out of the three. So I, th I think that will be pretty. We're going to do both of those. Okay, I'm going to take another blinged brush and I'm going to go into the mid-tone pink and I'm going to put this on the lid right here. I want to just kind of press that mat right there on the lid and then I want to bring this up a little bit. I'm just going to layer it on top of that purple that we started with so we can kind of have this pink just right here. And then what I'm going to do is go into Good Energy, the, I say darker pink, it is the darkest pink, but of course it's still very like light and bright. And I'm just going to press this right here at the lash line, and then I'm going to layer it on top of the lavender mat right out here and blend. And these are layering really well. I'm not getting any patchiness, no like weird texture or anything like that so these are layering really really well okay i think for our lid color just in between where we put the two pink mattes i think what's gonna look so pretty is this shade right here oracle this one that ah, that looks so pretty it's like this blue purpley green type of shade but I feel like I predominantly see the blue so I am going to use my Inslee Rain Glitz Fix Prime and Shine little primer I'm going to put this down on the lid just like a glitter adhesive glitter primer and then we will pack that shade Oracle right on top okay I'm going to look down and I'll put that uh, glitter adhesive or uh, primer whatever you want to call it right in the center and I'm gonna push that on right there I like these shades together that is so fun all right so I'm just gonna press it on like that and then we will highlight our inner corner Okay, I really like this. I'm feeling like cotton candy vibes with the pink, the blue, the purple. I want to uh, highlight the inner corner, but I want to use a matte shade. I want to let the sparkle like stay on the eyes and then, you know, I have like a gloss I want to wear that's sparkly. So I'm going to keep the inner corner matte and I'm going to go into Mist, the shade right under Oracle. I think that is going to be super pretty. So I'm just going to press this on right here. Yeah, that way we have some brightness on the inner corner, but not necessarily sparkle. So I'm going to uh, put on some mascara and I will be right back. But <laughs> this is such a fun, bright look. I'm into it. But I'm gonna wipe away fallout. I'm gonna do mascara. I'll be right back. Okay, I am really feeling bright and fun in this look. I put on uh, purple in my waterline. This is the Martine Cosmetics uh, 
Crayon Coal Liner in the shade Electric Violet. And then I put on my Lunar Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Stormy. And I am wearing the Rain or Shine Lip Gloss. And this is the Crystal Skies shade. So very pretty. I thought this hot pink lip would be really pretty under this gloss, especially with this eye look that we have going on. Now on my cheeks, I put on some blush. This is the Scooby-Doo Glam Light Duo. I just mixed both of these, but for highlighter, I thought we could use one of the Inslee Rain Loose Pigments and see how that looks as a highlighter. So this is the shade uh, Whole Light. This is one of their duo chrome. It looks so pretty. So I am going to just try to get a little bit of this on a fluffy brush and we're going to see how it looks as a highlighter. You know, your uh, makeup products can be whatever you want to use them for. Like have fun, use your products in different ways. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this pigment and we're going to see how it looks on the cheek. Okay, so if you see a little sparkle floating through the air, it's because I was like kind of trying to like mush my brush in the pigments <laughs> and now I can see little sparkles, but I'm just going to that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to put the sparkle on my face. Now this is sparkle. Like you see, that is sparkle. So if you do not like sparkle don't use these types of pigments on your face <laughs> but i like it i think it's gonna be fun ethereal vibes i feel like i could be working at the cotton candy machine at a carnival or something you know like super fun i can see so many different reflex like i can see pink green purple blue really pretty okay all right i like that okay y'all here is our fun colorful sparkly look i am super into it every everything i used was so nice like the quality felt really really lovely and i'm just enjoying this. I do a lot of looks that are deep and dark and I love that. Like that is my go-to because it's my favorite. But this was fun to create a light bright look and have something super sparkly. I really like <laughs> the pigment on the cheeks. I think it's super fun. I like the sparkle glitter on the lips. I like the eyes. Overall, like when I look at myself, I just feel like fun, happy, positive vibes with this look. It makes me feel happy. So here it is one last time. We played with the makeup. We did not play with the hair today and that is okay. <laughs> it's up out of the way. It's too hot y'all. But here's one last look at our pink, blue, purpley look. Okay, y'all, starting off this look, I'm excited to wear this palette again. I do have on my Unearthly Cosmetics Carnage Lip Pencil. I'm very excited about these lip liners, but I put that down and kind of filled in my lips with it, and then I went over top with the uh, Crystal Skies Lip Gloss. I want to play with the greens in this palette today. I want to do something fun. So I'm going to put down an eyeshadow primer and we are going to play. And we're going to play with the liquid shadows today too. Okay, I went ahead and put down my primer. We are going to start with the deepest green down here on the bottom row in the center. And then we are going to move into this light pastel green right over here. Okay, so I'm going to press this all into the socket. I'm gonna press the pigment on first and then I will go and blend a bit, but I really just want to get this right on top of my primer all in my socket. This is really pretty. 
really vibrant, isn't it? Oh, I like that a lot. That's really pretty. I'm also going to take it right here on the lid to the lash line, just in the outer corner. Okay, once I have that shade down, I'm going to go in with that lighter green now, and I'm just going to use this on my fluffy brush, and I'm going to buff out that deeper shade into this lighter shade. The brushes I'm using are from my Sigma set, and I'm just going to blend, blend, blend around. Okay, I want to use one of the Molten Liquid Eyeshadows. This is in the shade Garnerite Multichrome, the green one. I have never used a liquid shadow from Inslee Rain, so we're going to try it. But I will say I'm very picky with liquid shadows, and I usually know right away if they work well for me or not. So I'm going to kind of paint it on like this. I, I usually know if they work well for me or not quickly is what I meant to say. I'm sorry. I kind of just like stopped mid sentence with that. Didn't <laughs> I'm just going to put this all over the lid. I usually know pretty quickly if they're going to work for me or if they're going to crease or if I don't like them. So I'll be able to give you like my initial thoughts. But remember this video, like I will follow up. I will follow up after I've played with everything on the eyes, after I've worn these, you know, for longer. But so far, so good. And there's no weird like burning. <laughs> Have you ever put on a liquid shadow and it kind of burns and it like, dries so quickly that you can't work with it and then it's feeling all creasy and goopy and it's just not good so far none of that so far none of that i'm just keeping my eye looking down until this dries and then i'm going to put on just a little bit more where i didn't have any powder shadow underneath actually i'm going to put on just a little bit more right here Oh yeah, that's layering super well. I just don't want to cover up the mat that we have in the outer corner. So I'm going to let that dry before I do anything else. Okay, this is looking so pretty. Do you see how like shiny and sparkly that is? Very pretty. I want to do this blue on the lower lash line called Moonstone. And I'm debating what to do on the inner corner because I really want to use these beautiful like shadows in the palette, but I also want to play with the multi-chromes more. <laughs> I'm really, the multi-chromes, I mean the loose pigments more, but I also wanted to play with the liquid shadows. So I'm debating. I think we'll just use a shadow from the palette for the inner corner. And I'll use one of the loose pigments as a highlighter again. And I mean, I'm definitely, like I said, I'm going to keep playing with these. I'm going to keep testing them out. I just wanted to create two looks with y'all, share my swatches, things like that, so that you could kind of get some inspiration with this palette, these shades. And I really wanted to test these and, of course, support Shifty Shadow on this really beautiful collection, but I'm just taking that blue right under the lower lash line. And then let's use a shadow from the palette as an inner corner shade. And I will just use one of these loose pigments as a face highlight. I'm going to go with this shade right here for the inner corner, actually Morganite. It looks really, really beautiful. So I'm going to pop that right there. And I didn't say, I don't think at the beginning that on the inside of this palette, let me hold it up for y'all so that you can see, look how pretty that is. That peachy pink kind of reflect on the inner corner. That's really beautiful. But on the inside, it says, um, in the hour of adversity, be not without hope for crystal rain falls from storm clouds. So that's what it says on the inside. I think that's really, really pretty. And of course, this is a magnetic palette and it has 
um, the name of the palette and the collab on both sides. I think that is really, really nice. I'm really into my eye look. So let me do liner. I think I'm going to throw on a lash and I'll be back. We'll see the finished look and we'll talk about this collection. All right, y'all, here is the finished look. So pretty, so sparkly. Oh, I'm so into it. I just put a little bit of navy liner in my lower waterline. This is the L'Oreal liner in blue jersey. And then I threw on some Ardell 113 lashes. I did use a one of the, um, what are these called? Multi-chrome loose, loose, loose pigments, <laughs> I couldn't think of the word, in Kunzite for highlighter. So that's this beautiful glow you see. And um, underneath that for blush, I am wearing Unearthly Cosmetics Mellow. So huge congratulations to Inslee Rain and to Shifty Shadow. I think they did such a beautiful job. I'm just like looking around so you can see this sparkle on my lid so pretty y'all did a great job you should be so proud i feel great in this look i hope that you enjoyed both looks i hope you enjoyed the first one kind of like cotton candy vibes i actually wore that i had to go um to a doctor's office and i got three people like stopped me and asked me about my makeup and I understand why it was sparkly it was fun it was colorful really really beautiful collection I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope you are having fun with your makeup remember we're not trying to look better you look amazing without makeup 10 out of 10 the makeup is here for us to have fun you look great no matter what. So I hope you're having fun today. Maybe you're doing a uh, makeup free day. You look amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I will put everything I talk about down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in another video. Bye.